Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right. Yeah. We coming in with this week's Raising Canaan yeah. episode eight. But before we get started on last cost week. Cost of business. God, Yeah, the cost of business. Before we get started, like I said, um, on last week on our Queen Sugar Reviews, we had debuted some shirts that we are rocking, and we're gonna try to yeah. rock them the entire season. We try, we pick the company that we want to just put on display, and we have a coupon code for y'all. So we'll go ahead and show y'all the shirts here. Yeah. yeah, and make sure you use the fifteen percent off coupon, which is what Lynette. Save me some yeah. money. All right, so let's just go ahead and get into this. Listen, I think I need to apologize, man, to. The Raisin Canaan writing team because we have been kind of complaining that nothing was happening episode after episode. Like it was just slow, slow, slow. I don't know if this episode they just decided just, we just, just go just boom, turn, boom, just boom, boom, turn boom, boom, the heat all the way up. Just turn it all the way up with no warning. I'm done for. Yeah. You can uh, skip uh, next uh, week if you need to because I'm really just trying to process every freaking thing. Yeah. Everything that happened. Uh, I'm oh. We gonna talk yeah, about gonna it, talk but about I am it. in yeah. my bag today. All right, so we, yeah, we gonna, yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> the cost of business, yeah. The episode was named perfectly, so we, we, we gonna, we gonna start with Juke, man. So Juke, no, Nicole is gone. I was wondering if they was gonna start back off with that this week, yeah. or were they gonna like kind of push it down the road a little bit, and maybe uh, she was gonna find out later. No, they took us right there. But her and Kane, we saw, went to the funeral or the. Or the layover. I'm not uh, sure which one it was. Memorial service. Or memorial service. And I actually thought the father was going to connect with her when he saw her there. But he was like, you ain't supposed to be here. And then when the mama saw her, you need to get out. Yeah, no, you get out. You get out. You get out. But at that time, we didn't know um, that the parents had knew exactly what killed her. So we saw later on in the episode that Juke decided that she wanted to go and break into the house. So she can go in the cold room, you know, which I get it, you know, get her closure, yeah, get her closure and everything like that. So I, I totally get that. But we was like, uh, get out, you, you know, you hanging around, I, you know, I appreciate you looking at the videos. When she looked at the videos, she was, that broke she my was crying heart. Her eyes out, man. Is shout yeah. out to her because she acted her A off, in yeah, she age. acting her hind parts off, yeah. And then we saw later on that, you know, the parents eventually had came home. <laughs> and saw the window bust out. Yeah, they so called the cops. They called the cops, and when they bust in, the dad was being like, "You need to get out." They're and on they, their way. Yeah, and they're on their way, and they had going to mama. You kill my daughter. You kill my daughter. Yeah, you take this. You kill my daughter. And I was like, the blue got doing capsule, so they yeah. know. Yep, and they, they said know. we lied to everybody. What happened? Her grandparents don't know what happened. No, because you don't want yeah the town to know. So it was beneficial for you too that you lied. Right. To say that you didn't know what happened to your daughter because who wants to bury their daughter with the town knowing that she OD? Exactly. And last week we was talking about, I can't remember we said it on camera, but I know me and the queen was like, how is this going to affect Kanan and her relationship now? You know, they cousins, they good. They, is this going to mess them up? And we seen in the episode when she came back and was talking to Kanan and showed him was like, she died with this. And he was like, I don't even know what to say. And I was like, I feel you, man. Yeah. What can you say? Because you know it's your fault. What can you say? Ultimately, but yeah. not really. Yeah, so, you know, knowing that you was partly responsible for the death of your cousin's girlfriend, man. That messed her smooth up. Like, mm -hmm. to the point where, this is where I think Juke is going to make a decision to leave. To leave um New York. Because <clears throat> she was like, it's this messed up town. It keeps yeah. messing our lives uh, up. Yeah. And she was like, I'm just over it. I'm over what this is doing to us. So I said, I think this is when Juke is going to go away. Yeah. But I want like, y'all been saying in the comments, I'm like, I wonder what point uh, is she going to switch over and want to, you know, be an, officer. be an officer. And I'm wondering, like, with this situation with Nicole, was that the catalyst that's going to lead into that? But I guess we're going we're gonna to find out. But, but we didn't talk about when she <clears throat> did get arrested yes. at the parents' house. I said, this is going to be really bad for Juke because... The mama, remember, she gave her the bottle with the blue cap and Juke took it and put it in her pocket. Then she gets arrested yeah. with said cap in her her jacket. Right. I'm like, she's going down for this. Yes. Then all of a sudden, in the back of the squad car, there's something that comes over the radio and they pretty much said, 
oh, we intercepting that. You need to let her go. Yeah. And they let her go. We know who that is, Detective Howard. But I'm like, they even said, they said, I don't know who you got in your pocket up in the I'm higher trying, ups. But you basically, you blessed. You blessed. <laughs> yeah. Go on. This is your stop. This, Hey, this is the last Uber ride for you. Right. <laughs> but uh, this this kind of shocked me this week was when uh, Rock had confronted uh, Lou about talking to Unique at, at the diner. And she was like, I'm trying to figure out why was he so comfortable enough to talk to you. And Luke was like, you know, basically, I can't believe that you would ask me that. You know, as loyal as I've been, I, I'm that one thing about me, I'm loyal. I'm, I'm here. I'm solid. And I was, I was shocked. Yeah. That she asked him that, though. Me too. Yeah. But it was a test to see, to see where his loyalty or where he, if that fire was still in him. And he like he switched off. It's like, yeah, you would with, say some shit like that to me out loud. But I forgot to bring this up last week. Um, y'all remember when you know, cause Symphony and her had all kinds of sex last last week, and you can remember, um, he she told Symphony that I'm gonna get out the game, but I'm not gonna get out the game right now. But I got some more stuff that I need to set up, so that way I can get out the game and turn everything over to Lou. And I just can collect checks. I want residual income from this kid. Yeah. But I was like, wait a minute, though. Lou wants out the business. He does. Which leads us into this week, we can see that he came over the crown, a.k.a. DJ Cassidy, <laughs> with his lawyer and was like, I want 50%. And DJ Cassidy was like, what? what? He said, what? what? How, how, like, yeah, how does that work? How are you just going to come in here? Because he said... I've been paying for everything, so I'm turning the debt into equity and getting 50% of this company. <laughs> so your name gonna be on these papers yep. one way. So I'm getting half, half. I'm getting half a bulletproof. So I'm like, okay, okay. So Lou is kind of serious about really wanting ghost. to get in. Yeah, ghost and is serious about wanting to get out the game and you know get into the music. You know, that was probably the right way about going and doing it and everything. Hey, it's the street but, way. But it's just it's, it's the street way. I like me some some um, Lulu man. But basically Crown Crown couldn't do nothing about it though. Yeah. He got a co condition that he can't control and he always needs some fronted money. Right. And the person with the money is calling the shots right now. Yep. <laughs> so that flipped over. We saw uh, when he was um, sleeping with his girlfriend. I can't. I can never remember her name. Yeah, it's not important. But she's still on that thing about making famous famous. And basically, you know, she like now that you know, basically part owner of Bullet. You know, we need to you know put famous on tours and da da da. He was like, you just don't ever shut up. You just you ain't just never ever <laughs> satisfied. satisfied. We just want, I just want, we just want to bust some, we want to bust some, yeah, bust some good nuts and you want this what you want. <laughs> he over there smoking a J. But from day one, we've been saying that we didn't trust, trust her, her anyway. So it's like she's just looking for opportunity to come up. To get her brother famous. Yep. But I mean, I give it a famous, I mean, he, I mean, he could spit, but you know, he's spitting other people's stuff, but. He all right. It's, yeah, he cool, he cool, he cool. So, uh, yeah, yeah, Yes. I got to definitely talk about this. DEF CON. That was a shocker. You remember that uh, Detective Howard had came and confronted Rob because... <sighs> it's a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because if he had went over and confronted... What's his name? Was it Lil Rob? Little Rob. Little Rob. Little Rob. They confronted Little Rob because they had got back about the blue pills because they, cause all these crackheads is dead. And little Rob, I'm like, I don't know what crew he worked for, Snitches. but but he a snitch. I mean, it didn't take him that long at all. It's like, nah, bro, it ain't had nothing to do with me. It was Kanan that did that. And of course, you know Detective Howard. Say, so you work with a kid? It's going to take that back. He's <laughs> like, you don't know who this kid belonged to, do you? They're going to take that back to Rob. And so they got to talking, and they was walking in the park, and... He basically gave her ultimatum. Hey, you either tell Kanan that I'm the daddy or I'm going to put it out in the streets that he killing people with, with drugs, which that's going to put a target on him. Or I'm going to tell him that you slept with, a, that you were sleeping with undercover. I mean, so either, either way, way, and this is going to be our last conversation. 
And don't bring your punk ass brothers into this either. <laughs> then that's when Defcon came up because they were talking about sleeping with underage people, and he was, she was like, he was like, well, you slept with Defcon, and he was an older, older guy, and she was like, well, Defcon was left handed. I was like, I said left handed, like, 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 get, like, like left handed, left handed, like. But she said, but he was the hardest ninja you ever wanted to meet. And I was his cover. Yeah. And I was like, that was a curve. I was like, what? Yeah. yeah. So she was like, that's why he didn't trip when I got pregnant. Because it even made him look even better in yes. the streets. Because everybody was like, okay, Def Con got a son. Yeah. So that's because I had read the description of the episode before I watched it that basically Rob was going to find out <laughs> that Kanan had cooked up those drugs and killed those people. Because I was like, how the heck she going to find that out? That was it. But like Kanan said, Mom always finds always out. Always finds out. How did she out? find out? <laughs> yep. <laughs> but the streets talk, though, man. The streets talk. Yeah, man. they do. And then that spin off where we seen that she confronted Kanan about it. By his whole government. By his whole government. Because this, by this time, she pissed off because now... I don't know how she's going to get out of not telling him okay. that Detective Howard is dead because she can't kill Detective Howard because that's <laughs> definitely going to link that <laughs> now her. that these, they're going to witch call this out there. So she confronted him like, you think you the man now. You think you you, you got it going on. He was like, well, Ma, you, you was the one that made me this way. And she slapped the skit, not said, but smacked the skit right out of that book. I said, ooh. And so, of course, by this time, he had to tell that, well, no, she, no. She, she ran, she read him for his life. Yeah, for his life. But I'm talking about Uncle Marvin. I can't remember if he brought up Uncle Marvin or she brought up Uncle Marvin. Oh, she brought it up. Yeah, that she knew with. that you were working with Uncle Marvin. So Rob proceeded to tell Kanan that the guy that you working with used to sell drugs. Then he became a user. So basically he became a crackhead. And then one day he was so goddamn high when the police came, he tried to sell him a car. I said, well, darn, Marvin. said, this is the one that you're working with. This is who you chose. And here was the freaking dagger to the heart for Kanan. Because she was like, everything you text, you F it up. It's always a dead body. And she started naming off all the different people. And she brought up D-Wiz. And he, said, and he D -Wiz. was like, D-Wiz? She was like, yeah. I did that. I did that. Because the streets was looking, basically looking for a body. And it had to be somebody, so it was either you or him. Or him. And I had to do it. And you could see, like, oh, my. You could tell he knew then that game is real. And your mama is not to be played with. Right. But I, and I told you, I was like, I thought when the mom, when Rob went over to the mama's house after D Wiz's funeral and was praying with her and whatever, and her and Kana had that little connect going on, I thought he had figured out then that his mama yeah. had killed him. But no, he didn't. Yeah, and, and like for me at that part, you know, sometimes you got to take and put yourself in the shoes. I understand that Rise in the game, but let's just look at it from a mama and son standpoint that you find out that your mama killed your best friend. Your best friend. Your best friend. That been over your house at yeah, your table. Right. <laughs> y'all used to play, play around. Playing Nintendo together, you know what I'm saying? Nintendo, because this is back here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sega, Sega Genesis. Genesis, you know, <laughs> the stuff that we knew how to play. <laughs> you know, matter of fact, we were just, matter of fact, we were just that. talking to some, some of our friends that, uh, that was over here Friday and was like, the way they play video games is totally different now <laughs> that you got to be basically plugged in online and you can be hooked into the headset. And in the be, same room? Yeah, and he was like, <laughs> He was like, I was playing this game with like this six year old and he was kicking my tail and cussing me out at the same time. And he was like, I just stayed quiet. Because I was like, you what you supposed to say? This is a little kid. I'm not cussing yeah, kid I ain't cussing no kid out. Yeah. <laughs> so so I was like, oh hell. Rise fitting to kill Uncle Marvin. I know it, she's gonna kill Uncle Marvin, so <laughs> <laughs> So she go over to the, you know, to the to the house that they the, the lead, deluxe apartment in the sky that they still renovate. I'm like, how long is it gonna take to renovate this goddamn apartment? I swear. But anyway, so she get a question how how thing coming on and she took the two by four. I thought she was gonna hit him on the side of the head, but she, but she hit him in the back. Because he already knew when she came in. She and she cleared the room. He was like, oh, no. She on, she on that BS right now. So, yeah. So, But but here's the thing. He, I mean, he still started lying. He was like, I was doing that for the family business. But you did it behind our back. Yeah. 
But then he went on to snitch okay to some yep, more. Yep, snitch no okay to some more. That, yeah. that, that, that thing that we got set up off of the interstate. That was that, that was, was his, his, his idea. idea. He's smart. He brilliant. So that's why I decided to work with him. But she was like, so you decided just to pull my son into the game. But <laughs> she put a dagger in his heart too. It was like, oh man. I want you out of my life. I don't ever want to see you no more. Basically, you did to me. I, I think that was wrong. I think that was worse than a bullet. But you you asked for it though. What do you mean? I mean because you kept on doing stuff. Like she said, everything you touch, you f it up. It's just like Tommy. As much as we love Tommy, every time Tommy try to do stuff by himself, Ghost had to end up coming you in. Put the tracksuit on. Yeah, put the tracksuit on to bail him out. So it always was a body. Always. So you got two buck ups together just trying to do business. So yeah, so I I, I actually thought he was. I really thought. He I was, thought she was gonna kill him. I thought she. Or was gonna, Lulu was gonna be in the in the cut waiting to off him because. My uncle Bob had already told Kanan. He was like, "Yo, your mama has no problem killing the both of us, right?" And your punk ass uncle Lulu yeah. will be happy, yeah, happy to put a bullet in my head. I said, yeah. "Dang!" Like, that. <laughs> like I, I know that I know that he about that life, but you, I about happy to kill his brother. But you said it as if like one word, yeah. And it don't matter if y'all kids. Yeah, not. It don't make a difference. I was like, dang, Lulu like that. So it's gonna be a mis misunderstanding on site. I said because he did have a little 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 moment when he had to kill D Wiz. He didn't want to do it. Nah, he didn't want to do it. Like he had to kind of like do that thing, like mm mm, boom, I, I did it. So for him to say, oh, your uncle will put a bullet in my head without even thinking about it. Yep. At the <laughs> as soon as your mama say do it, and he switched up his story from last week because you remember. When he found out that Kane was the one to cook that stuff up, killing them people, he was like, Rock can't ever know nothing about this skit because it's gonna be two more dead bodies. You and me. But this episode, it's like, it's he just told it's just gonna be me. He ain't gonna kill you, he ain't gonna kill you, it's gonna be me. <laughs> Y'all, of course, we can't we can't leave without talking about Davina. Oh. So when Kanan went over there and found out that they that the mama done died a month ago. Yeah, a month ago, and CPS done got all of them and scooped all of them up. Yeah, my like, God. CPS was on. nasty though, cause he was. I mean, he's technically a child. Yeah. And he's rolling up to ask about his friend, and she was like, "Did I mean she? I'm gonna call the cops. I'm gonna call the cops." The boy wants to know where his but, friend is. But in their defense, they they do have a tough job, though. They do. They do. Just but the, just like the people just in the like DMV, you, you choose violence. Just like the repossession people. They got a tough job. Like like the people that work at the DMV. It they was choose violence every day. <laughs> yeah. Every that day. That brought me back. I got just a little, another small story. About <laughs> I know what you're about to say. <laughs> about the repossession man. It was somebody I know. Go tell the real story. <laughs> With your best friend. Yeah. We came back home. <laughs> and the Snatch Man. We, 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 from, snatch we man. called him the Snatch Man. The Snatch Man had his car hooked up to the God Throne Wrecker. And so me and him getting out like we thugs and stuff like that. So my cousin says his car. He decided to proceed and start talking. And as soon as he opened his mouth up, the Snatch Man said, Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Alpha, I don't even want to hear it. Shut up! <laughs> Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. He was mad because he had been trying to get the car for like the last two weeks and we kept hiding from him. So when he got that car, he didn't give a darn what. What? You don't want to have to. Y'all said y'all were laughing so hard. Yeah, we got back in the car. We were laughing so hard. Man, he said, shut up. Shut up. I don't even want to hear it. I don't even want to hear it. Oh, <laughs> Lord, I got myself. <laughs> Whew. Come on back in. Lord. <sighs> so, here's Uncle Marvin again. He, he, he over there with Tony, giving her a little bit of D. And we saw this dang on recorder, and I was like, so who is recording? So is this... Is this Detective Howard them them got in there some kind of way and trying to get something on tape to get some? I, I just didn't just didn't know at the time. Right. 
And as soon as he got finished bucking her, she was like, so, you know, run me that money. I need that money. She was like, well, darn, you need that money that quick? You, that? And she was, he was like, yeah, give me the money. And she was like, tell me what you want the money for. And I give him like, are you that dumb? Yeah. You you basically letting him know that there's a wire in the room. Yeah. Tell me why you want it and I'll give you the money. Just tell me what you what you want the money for. So he storms out and then we see that pretty much she up on some charges. So she needs to snitch so she, she can keep her A out of jail. But who on the, in the corner ear hustling this entire thing? Symphony. Yeah. I said, oh, he gonna go back and tell this. Yep. Yep, he gonna go back and tell it. So last week we were, I asked y'all the question is uh, that we think that Rock is gonna work with Joaquin the new connect. Ah, uh, she getting close. We see she getting close, but he concerned about Detective Hal because he hired some people to follow her around and saw them talking over by the bridge. He was like, okay, I want to do business, but uh, you got this guy, and <laughs> I don't know the dude that she that she brought with him. Uh, that, do we have his mama see him? Well, anyway, he was scared to death when they, they pulled the guns. But she was just cool, calm, and collective. She was like, everybody in the game has a cop, got a cop. cop in, the, in the corner. And I was like, yeah. That is true. Yeah. And I was like, Joaquin, you ain't got no cops? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's looking like, no, I don't trust you. And this this changed the game that you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, this changed the game you're talking about. I just need to see. I need to, <laughs> I need to see what that means. Is Detective Howard going to be a problem for me? Like, how can I trust that you who you say you are? Yeah. And when she told him, she was like, <clears throat> your cousin. She didn't tell you? Her husband? Gabe, wasn't it Gabriel? I think it was Gabriel. I did that. Yeah. I did that for her. Yep. She helped me out. I helped her out. Yeah. Any more questions? Oh, I, that, that was, yeah, that was my, <laughs> I didn't have no idea that it was going to set him up like that. Because when, when the scene <laughs> happened, I said, baby, like you need to have a fallback plan because when you throw that water, you knew he coming back and all yeah. you're going to do is fall out on the ground. Like, what the hell? So and I was like, I hope you're running to get a gun. Yeah, because when he grabbed the knife, I said, oh, oh yeah. no, you going to die, lady? And Rob was standing there waiting to do the job. I said, Lord, have mercy. And old girl had the nicest, like, grin on her face. Like, yep. mm, this was so satisfying. I, I'm set free now. Yeah, can you imagine somebody whooping your tail? Every single day and, like that? I mean, and then he was doing it in a way that was even worse than getting a regular beating. He was whooping her with a belt like she's a freaking like child. child. yep. Like, I'm like, wow. I'm like, dang. And there are people in this world like that. Yeah. That's crazy. Crazy. All right, so now we see Neek is... Got his boys. They got all look like some ARs, some AK 47s, some pistols. They got a little bit of everything. They got some freaking uh, those gas bottle things that you throw, you throw and burn up shit. But uh, I didn't mean to cuss, but they it did. did. Yeah, but <laughs> the burn up skit. And so I at first I was like, where in the hell? Who they gonna hit? Oh, I already know. Who they gonna hit? That that was my first question. But in the back of my head, back of my mind, I kind of. Thinking it was Lou, but I was like, well, at the Donner last week, he told Lou, I'm going to apologize now for what's going to happen later. So I was like, so uh, is they, is is he going to go after Kanan? Is or, he going to go after Raw? Go after Raw? Which I wasn't thinking about Uncle Marvin because <laughs> that wouldn't have, that wouldn't affect yeah. him in no way or the, or the other. So we saw it. They proceeded to go over there and lose, but... Before they got over to lose, Ra had called him and said, it's time to, to basically hit another home run. And we was like, who is it that she asking him to hit now? Unless we missed something in the episode. I was like, is it Marvin? Like, yeah. So if if y'all know who she was talking about, let us know. We might have missed that part. Uh, but the players came over there and threw them, them fires in there and started blasting. I was like, Lou, man, come on, bro. Get out there. Get out, man. Get out. Get out. I was like, darn, and by this time, Marvin was coming down the street and saw it, and Marvin ended up having to go in the house and pulling them out. Man, I think they'd have killed Lou, man. I, I, I I'm don't, I, I, I don't want to say he dead, because I was wrong, <laughs> I was wrong about Scrat, you know? So, hopefully Scrat's still doing good in the hospital, they ain't give us an update on him this week, you know? You know, maybe I need to call the family and find out an update on him, but, uh, <laughs> not Lou, though. 
Solid dude. Come on, man. And even Marvin felt some kind of way. Yeah, like, it was like. He was like, come on, man. You can't. You can't, you can't. leave me. You can't, you can't leave me. So I'm, I'm just I, like, oh, no, I, man. So I'm just hoping that he just got suffocated and he got, you know, some smoke in his lungs and, and you know. They can put him on the machine or something. Yeah, and the ambulance could come, you know, and put him on the machine, you know, give him a little bit of oxygen. Don't. Ow. By Kane's um commentary, the commentary yeah, yeah, the cost. But at we also didn't talk about when Lulu was following Neek, and Neek went to this hotel, and Neek got his um car valet. Uncle Lou, Lulu went up to the valet and was like, "And got the coat. I I need to yeah. get in my friend's car that's parked out the front." And he went into Neek's car and got the coat. So I'm trying to figure out, did Lulu know that this was about to happen? And he brought in his coat mm. so that when they figure out what the hell's going on, he has possession of his coat to say that, boom, this was him. This is who did this. Now, that's a good point right there. Because I'm like, it never, nothing else came <clears throat> into play. Yeah. Yeah, because I actually thought he was going to go up, going to go where he was Me at. Me too. Yeah, that's what I thought he was going to do, but. I, yeah, I, and it was funny because it was like. <clears throat> Lulu was out of character this week. Yeah. Like, whenever Rock calls, he jumps. This week, he yeah. was short with his girl. Mm -hmm. Then he just wanted to sit at home and listen and, and pull him up one. He listen was, to some, some um, jams. He said, I'm off tonight. I'm off tonight. And I was like... And if you want off, man, you You off now. So what it was, it, what it was, yeah, what it was, he got, you know, he got that, that, that forced deal, 50-50 with Bulletproof. Man, he ain't bulletproof. Yeah, man, I, like, I hope he not dead, though. I, I like just... Ricky Schmaler said, Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But, yeah, this episode was, was real good. Y'all, of course, as ready. always, get down in the comments. Let us know what y'all think, man. And we're going to see y'all back at the same time, same place next week. And don't forget to check out them shirts, man. Straight from the VA. The Dirty 35. Two up. Two, two down. Holla.